Hey everybody, Clayton Stufflebeam here, PFR Agronomist with Vex Hybrids. We're in year number three of our ground versus air trials in corn. So these are full scale field trials spread across Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana for 2024. So we're in our third year. Last year we did a select few trials that had a drone in the mix as well. This year we've doubled down. Every trial that I go to this year, whether it's a helicopter or an airplane, the drone will be there right alongside the ground, the air, whether it's airplane or helicopter, and the untreated controls. So we've got four treatments going on in these fields wherever we may end up uh, location-wise. So this is a Helio Ag 230 drone. We're gonna apply uh, two gallons per acre. Uh, right across the field, I am running a DRA uh, only, so no adjuvants, just uh, in this case, Moravis Neo plus the DRA. Behind me, you'll see the ground machines at the far end of the field, getting ready to pull into the trial, make his strips, and we're gonna follow him out of the field. We're gonna run the drone, and then the airplane will be right behind the drone as soon as it's back on the ground. So excited to be doing this again for the third year um, and second year here with the drone. Now, you can look back at our previous two years worth of data, what was tough about those two years was we had lack of disease. So very little disease in 2022 and 2023 across those trials. This year I have not seen disease yet, but our weather is shaping up to where we might see disease. Uh, I hate to say it, but hopefully in one of these fields, disease does show up to see how uh, each of these treatments will react in a, a higher disease severity environment. So. Uh, that sprayer out there in the field, that is a Fent high clearance sprayer. Our local Fent dealer, Al Torfer, donated the ground machine for this trial and another trial we're going to do here in a couple weeks. So I want to thank them and I want to thank Helio for participating in these trials as well. Thanks again. Stay tuned for the data coming up this fall.